Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this, uh, this is VCP7 uh, Data Center Virtualization 2020 and this is part 22nd video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to create and use o OS customization in uh, VMware vSphere vCenter Server 7 so what is OS customization basically OS customization we can use with the with the templates of the virtual machine to have automated uh, deployment for the virtual machines so OS customization basically uh, you can say it's have the some some settings or some configuration which can be used to customize the operating system during the deployment so we are going to de, uh, do this uh, in lab so we will have a one template we will create one OS customization and then we are going to test the deployment so let's get started so just to give you idea what we can do in guest OS, uh, guest OS customizations option so you can see we can we can set the name or, or name and target of the operating system which operating system it does and we can set the registration information we can set the computer name how, how it should take the com automated computer name we can assign the windows licenses through the OS customization we can set the local administrator password we can set the uh, time zone for the operating system also we can run lots of command through this OS customization like if you want to do something uh, some installation through the power cell you can do that also like you, you want to install few operate a uh, few windows servers roller feature you can do uh, do those things also you can have a network settings also uh, by using the OS customization you can put your um, templates or the deploying virtual machine in work group or domain and <coughs> and these all settings you can do through the OS customization so I will create this OS, test, uh, OS customization in this video and then we are going to um, uh, use the deployment uh, for the deployment also so this is my demo environment we are using the same environment which I have used in my last video so the first machine is our domain controller so this is Win2K12 DC01 so this is my Turacti and DNS server and my domain name is labshandson.com so here is my domain controller you can see active directory and dns is running on this machine so this got uh, win 2 k 12 dc01 and next we have vmware vcenter server appliance 7 which is running on my vcenter uh, vmware virtual station you can see here uh, invcs is 70 so this is my uh, vmware's uh, vcenter server appliance which is running version 7 and we got three ESXi hosts ESXi 1, 2 and 3 so all three here you can see ESXi 01 ESXi 02 and ESXi 03 so this is my console machine which I am using in this uh, uh, Windows 10 console machine to access my vcenter server infrastructure on uh, Google Chrome browser so I have logged in my vCenter server which is here INVCS 70 so if I show you first I got one template which is basically Win2K 16 uh, Windows Server 2016 template so let's I'm going to convert this template in virtual machine and then going to power in and show you what we have in this template and then we are going to create our OS customization and deploy this template so I'm, I just converted this template in a virtual machine and going to launch this so this is uh, a simple operating system where I have uh, like virtual machines where I have installed Windows Server 2016 and I did some configuration like I have installed few few applications on this machines like MS Office and other applications so let's review this so this machine is not in domain the first thing uh, you can see I got lots of application pre-installed on this machine so just going to move this out and you can see so you can see here if I go here and just to show you I got lots of application pre-installed on this machine like we got MS Office pre-installed, Java and other lots of other application is pre-installed on this machine so this is a basically a template and this machine is not in join in my domain you can see it's it's in workgroup and the IP address is configured uh, as a DHCP 
so this is a simple uh, installed machine which having a uh, few pre-installed applications so I'm going to now shut down this machine and convert this machine back in template and then we are going to create the OS customization and we are going to deploy the virtual machines so now this machine is shut down now I can go ahead and convert this machine back to template so convert to template and yes so now we got our template ready so this part we are good and now I'm going to do OS customization create OS customization to create OS customization you can go to shortcut and then you will have VM customization specific in specifications just click on it and you can click on new button so now you will see the target uh, uh, name and target OS so I'm going to call it like Win2K16 OS customization and I'm going to target this for Windows and if you go you can select for Linux also you will see a few less options so let's do it for Windows and this is the vCenter which we have we don't have any other linked vCenter server so click next and registration information you can type anything like I'm going to type labs and so on and organization name I'm going to type labshandson.com and computer name we got three options here enter the name we can put the name now and append the unique number value it's going to take so uh, enter the enter the name in the clone or deploy wizard so when we are going to deploy it's going to ask the virtual machine name so I'm going to use the most perfect one which is use use the virtual machine name so whatever you are going to use give the virtual machine name it's going to same configure within the operating system also so use the virtual machine name click next and I'm not going to uh, give any product key so it uh, might be in your environment it's going to activate through KMS and other things and if you don't have KMS you, you should be able to uh, provide the key and, and Windows is going to be activated so just click next and we can set the like local administrator password so I'm going to set the local administrator password here and just click next and then you we got the time zone so I'm going to change it to India time zone plus 530 so next and now you can set additional commands also so I'm, I'm not required to set any command but if you want to run any PowerShell script or anything definitely you can do it from here so click next and this is the network setting so if you want to take it from DHCP you can always set up to uh, um, take the uh, IP address from the DHCP in my I'm going to select the manual and then this is NIC1 if you have a multiple NIC you definitely can add as much as NIC you want so I'm going to add only one NIC and you can see the IP address is set to use DHCP and IPv6 not use so I'm going to change it so IPv6 I'm going to set to the prompt the user f uh, for the IPv4 address uh, for the specification in use so it's going to ask basically what IP address you want to configure so uh, during the deployment wizard we will see that and subnet pass I'm going to set it uh, default class C and gateway I know what is the gateway so I can put the gateway also uh, 1.1 1 .1. and alternative gateway we don't need so IPv6 don't use and DNS I'm going to put my uh, Active Directory and DNS server so alternative DNS I'm going to put my router address and DNS suffix also I'm going to put mm, labshandson.com so click on add so this is done I can go ahead and click OK so you can see here prompt user and we have already set up the uh, subnet mask DNS gateway everything so we are good with the networking also so click next and this is the part where we can join uh, the machine automatically in domain so I'm going to join these machines uh, machines by using this OS customization in domain so domain name so it's labs 
handson.com and username I'm going to type here Vikas and I'm going to put my credential and confirm the credential which is going to join this machine in domain click next and we are ready for this so you can see the name of this customization win 2k16 OS customization target is windows machine OS generate a new SID so basically it's going to journalize the machine uh, through the sysprep and registration information we have we have computer name use the virtual machine name product key not specified administrator access do not log in uh, administrator automatically and we got these network setting everything done so just click on finish and now you can see this is created and you can also see the uh, last modification date so now I will go in templates and going to deploy a new virtual machine by using this template so I'm going to call it like win2k16 vm02 so I'm going to put it in prod VM prod server so click next and then I'm going to put on my India prod cluster and this is going to use the data store cluster so thin provision I'm going to use click next and then I'm going to use the uh, customize uh, the operating system and power on after creation so click next now you can see this OS customization so I'm going to select it click next and it's going to ask you the IP address since we mentioned to prompt for the IP address so I'm going to put the IP address here 192.168.152 and just click next and we are done and now I'm going to click on finish so you can see the virtual machine deployment will be started soon so you can see this is started and you can see applying storage configuration is started and same way I'm going to deploy one more virtual machine here by using same template on the same time so win2k16 okay. vm03 next and select the cluster click next and select the data store and thin provision I'm going to use click next select uh, customize operating system power on post creation so this is done go ahead and select the OS customization type the IP address it's asking to give you the IP address click next and we are done with the setting and just click on finish and now you can see both virtual machine deployment is started so so it's going to take some time to get this done so once the operating uh, the machine says deployment is finished basically it's going to clone the virtual machine disk and once the deployment is done it's going to power on the virtual machine and run the OS customization to configure these operating system automatically and we are able to see those machines in Active Directory also so now this process is going to take some time to get the deployment completed so I will monitor the status of the deployment and will write back once the deployment is finished so now you can see the deployment is completed and both the virtual machine is now powered on so I'm going to take the console of these virtual machine and we'll see what's going on on both the virtual machines so you can see the both the virtual machine is now booting so it's got VM02 uh, is got on uh, screen locked so it's asking for control title so we are not going to do anything so it will uh, it will automatically going to reboot soon and we'll see this machine is going to be joined in domain so if now hit ok you can see this is asking to change the user id before sign in so i'm going to leave this virtual machine as it is so soon this virtual machine is going to be rebooted by using the os customization and it's going to set the password for this virtual machine so let's wait for some time and do not uh, like do any customization or anything on these virtual machines it's automatically going to reboot and get the cust uh, configuration done so i'm going to wait for some time and same time if you come on uh, like VMA guest information uh, for the these virtual machine you can see the DNS name and you can see the IP address which is not what we supposed to 
uh, OS customization is supposed to configure on these machines because uh, this machine is yet to reboot and configure the operating uh, details which we uh, done through the wizard so now you can see the VM02 is rebooting so it should configure the name and the IP address automatically and then it's going to join in domain so we just need to wait and watch and give some time to virtual machine and now you can see VM03 is rebooting so this is good sign both the virtual machine is rebooted so soon we will see the information changed on the guest co guest OS configuration page uh, like information page on vCenter server now you can see the machine is rebooted and some OS customization is going to run so basically sysprep was done in the back end so now this machine is getting configured through the OS customization so you can see few like commands also running on these machines during the configuration now it's taking one more reboot so should be good from the operating system name and the uh, IP address so we will wait for the machine to get the login screen and then we will uh, verify the informations on both the virtual machine so both virtual machine you can see it's running on the parallel so so might be you need to deploy a uh, 10 or 20 virtual machine by using the same OS customization and template you can do all together so it's going to be a take the same time if you are deploying one machine or might be you're deploying 10 machines so now you can see I think these machine are joined in domain so now uh, just give it some time so if I hit control Tadel you can see this machine is joining domain so I'm not going to log in now let's verify in Active Directory first so the default folder uh, for the computers to join is computers so I can see both the uh, servers I got in the computer folder so now I can good to move this servers in their correct OU so which is servers you can see we got all three machines and now if I log into one of these machines just verify it's allowing me to log in so you can see I can log in with the domain account on VM02 and let's verify same on VM03 it's also join in domain so this is good now let's wait for the server manager to pop up and then we will verify the IP config and other details so now you can see the DNS is also updated in uh, details is updated in vCenter server so you can see this is saying now Win2K16 VM03 and IP address which we have configured and same goes for the uh, VM2 also so this is good sign so we have successfully uh, created and uh, and deployed the virtual machine by using the OS customization uh, in vCenter server so just verify the same information in server manager once and then we are good so you can see the computer name this is taken the correct and this the server is joining domain also so we verified both the information is correct and also the IP address is correct and now if I go and check the applications which we have pre-installed in a template so let's just verify once so you can see all the applications is also installed so this is good and let's verify for the VM03 so you can see the computer name domain and the IP address so all good so this is how we can create and use OS customization in VMware vCenter server vCenter server 7 to automatically deploy virtual machines very quickly so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post them in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye